Okay, last list exercise, vacation guides. Modify your dream destinations list from the previous exercise. So you can use this link to go right to that exercise. And you want to modify your list so that they include um, not just the names of the countries you want to visit, but they should also include a link to a travel guide for that country or location, um, when you would like to go, and how long you want to spend there. You can grab your list here which we just did up there okay and then you also want to use the worldtravelguide.net to get those travel guides otherwise you'll run into some issues with the checker and um yeah you should have five locations in your list so here's an example again for you visual learners this is really useful five countries with a unordered list under each each one okay so First, let me grab my list from that previous exercise. I'm just going to go ahead and copy everything. And I'm just going to place this paste. Okay, so this was the list I started in the last unit, or I'm sorry, last exercise. And I want to modify it so that it has an unordered list underneath it. So what's nice about lists is you can nest them, meaning you can put them inside of one another. And in this case, we're going to nest an unordered list inside of our ordered list. Okay, remember to create the list items. I need a li set of li tags, and my unordered list is going to have three items, so I'll just add those now. Okay. Um, the first one is going to be a guide, so a guide to Peru. That's the first place on my list. One I would like to visit, right? I know travel's on hold right now, but assuming we could travel, I would say visit in winter since it would be summer in Peru, nice and warm. And then finally, how long I'd like to go. So ideally, it would be nice to visit for at least a couple of weeks. Okay, so let's run this and see what we got. Okay, looks good so far. One thing we did forget is we do want these to be headings. I believe that we are using H2 tags. So we wanna turn our first list item into a heading. We can nest that H2 tag right inside of our list item and that should turn the country nice and bold. Okay, so that looks great. Uh, last thing I'll need for my um, Peru list is the travel guide. Okay, so we want the whole bullet list item to be wrapped in the link to the travel guide. So I'll find my guide to Peru. The worldtravelguide.net website is really well organized. You can browse by continent and then all the countries are in alphabetical order. So here's the guide to Peru. There's a little bit about the country, some key facts, travel advice, really a nice and handy guide to have when you're traveling. Okay, so I'm going to copy that travel URL and back in my exercise, I'm going to wrap that list item in a anchor tag to create my link. I'll paste my URL in my href attribute. And remember, we kind of want to sandwich this text in between the A tag. So I'll move that closing anchor tag to the other side. And that looks great. All right, so that is one country completed. Again, we nested an unordered list inside of our ordered list. You want to do this for each of your countries. So your final result will be five countries with five separate guided links and unordered lists. All right, any questions on this exercise, leave it down below. This wraps up our lists lesson. Nice job, everyone.